Hi Pixies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Minxie and today, finally, I'm doing Stitches Yard. Um, so I just want to apologize for any background noise that you might be hearing in today's video. It is really hot today, so my fan is going. I have company over, so you might hear stomping around. There might be a child or two popping in. It, it's gonna be a day, but I'm gonna keep today's build really simple. We're just gonna be doing this cornfield for stitches. So that's what's happening today. It is 6.14 in game time. So I actually don't even know how I want this build to look, but I do know that it's just gonna be um, a bunch of hyacinths, some wheat fields, an occasional scarecrow, and some pumpkins. That's all it's gonna be. So hopefully this video won't be too, too long. But we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to lay this path down. Okay, so, um, back. <laughs> um, so the plan is to just place the country fence all around this area. Now, I was going to use the log fencing, but I feel like the country fencing would probably be a bit better. Um... I'm definitely gonna have to go grab some more wheat fields and stuff, but I'm gonna plant basically every um, yellow hyacinth that I have or I can find on my island. And all of the hyacinths are on the peninsula, which makes it really easy to um, find them. And also, <laughs> and also, if I sound a little bit weird, I do apologize. I burned my tongue really bad on some food. I was a little impatient and didn't let my food cool down. So my tongue is just a little jacked up. So <laughs> I feel like I'm talking with a little bit of a lisp, but you know, whatever. I just feel like I should just throw it out in there. I burned my tongue. So guys, don't wait until you're ridiculously hungry to start cooking dinner because then by the time dinner is ready, you are ravenous and just forget that scalding hot food is probably not the best for your poor mouth. So yeah, that happens. I'm fine though. <laughs> I'm definitely fine. Um, so anyway, the entire idea, I kind of want this to look fairly similar to the field the Scarecrow is in, in the Wizard of Oz. Um, obviously, it's not going to look exactly like that, but I still want it to be kind of similar. Um, I actually was going to leave this spot open because um, I was going to put some pumpkins back there, like the spooky lamps and stuff, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. Um, anyway, just so that I can completely close off this area without it looking a little strange. I just feel like it looks a bit better this way. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do really, really quick. Alright, cool. Now we can get back to these put this down put this down and put this down oh wait I can fill this in I think yeah you just round that out and round this out and round this out so that's what this is gonna look like and now I can just get to planting these hyacinths, which I really want to plant. Hi Pixies, so um, first off I just apologize if you guys can hear the AC in the background. If I do not have the AC on, I will literally melt away and there will be no Pixie Queen. Okay, so just please bear with me. But I did feel like it was important to show you guys what I'm doing here because I was originally just going to cut this out and let it just be a regular schmigger weird little let's play thing. But I really feel like I wanted you guys to see this. So basically, I'm just planting a whole bunch of yellow hyacinths because they're going to be the corn. And I'm pretty sure I said this before in the video. But if I didn't, this is inspired by 
obviously the scarecrows little area there are pumpkins laying around so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna add a bunch of pumpkins and just other little yellow farmy kind of vibes I was actually thinking of going back in this building like switching some things out maybe putting another windmill in here or something I don't know but I definitely know that I do have to tweak this build so it is gonna look a little different the next time I'm on the island I just wanted you guys to know that so that when you see it you're like wait what what happened yeah because I'm not actually completely satisfied with this build I wish I could make it a little bit bigger but with the space limitations I have to kind of work with what I got um yeah, there really isn't much to explain about this build. Like I said, it was really simple. And I spent a lot of time going in and out of my storage shed, just brainstorming about what I wanted to do. And I'm actually really low on a lot of supplies. I have to run to a treasure island later on to get some more items so that I can do something else because I still don't even know what I'm going to do with the other houses. Currently, I'm trying to get rid of Rosie, which makes me really sad. Otherwise, Rosie is going to end up having to be my cowardly lion. <laughs> if I can't get her to leave because I really wanted Elvis on this island but Rosie is being stubborn and I guess I can just have Rosie be my cowardly lion and you know just make it work because I have to build a forest for the lion so yeah there's a lot of things that I'm thinking about and then I still eat, haven't even laid the main yellow brick road path mainly because I still have to do the front of resident services as well and the front, there are so many flowers. I still haven't placed bones or my house and Raymond's house still isn't placed. So I'm stressed, I'm stressed. And I still haven't placed anything for the Nooks Cranny or the um, Abel Sisters. And I'm thinking that one or both buildings might end up just <laughs> being on the beach and I'm just gonna block off the beaches. If that if it comes to that it will be really sad um but it is what it is like this is all my fault I was already complaining about this in my last video anyway so it sucks but that's that's what happens you know um but anyway <laughs> anyway um yeah um I was blocking Daisy Mae from getting into the area that I was building in because I was just afraid she was gonna get in the way and like you know bother me while I'm building I really hate that the villagers do that and I really hope that in the next Nintendo Animal Crossing that Nintendo fixes it because it's it, it drives me crazy it really really does and that's the biggest reason why I decided to build at 6 a.m. because most of the villagers will be asleep during this whole build I was really really hoping that stitches would not wake up and bother me because it would have drove me crazy as much as I love stitches I don't want him in the way um yeah so anyway guys let me know how you guys are beating beating the heat um like what are you guys doing today like what are you guys doing later this week are you guys going to the beach and if you are going to the beach please take me with you because I would love to go to the beach so bad but I can't go right now and it makes me sad because the beach is like my favorite place to be <laughs> <laughs> anyway I feel like I'm just ranting and ranting but that's just the stuff that I've been dealing with today okay that's just what I've been dealing with it's super hot muggy sticky and I'm doing stitches yard and I'm not completely satisfied with it so that's basically what's going on in my head right now <laughs> But I hope you guys are having a better day than I am. Well, I am having a better day now that this build is over. But I'm going to go back and tweak it like I said before. You know, you know. But yeah, I am I keep going back into the storage shed to see if I can find anything. I grab a barrel. Later on, I grab a crescent moon chair and just kind of toss it in there. And yeah, but anyway, I will see you guys at the end of the video. All right, so I'm gonna put this dirt path on top of the dark dirt path. Um, I don't know, for no other reason other than I think it will look nice. And it does. I like the different contracts of brown, contrasts of brown. Um, I still haven't been able to find this code. I am gonna find it though. Like, I know who makes it and I just, I cannot 
find the crazy I can't find the code for the life of me basically like I've been looking and I don't know what I did with it I don't know if I put it somewhere like I, I don't know what I did with it so I do apologize but it's just a simple dirt path there's like a ton of them on the interwebs and on Pinterest but this particular one was made by my friend April Honey so if you go to any of her like her, any of her specific codes on her channel it's it's one of those okay <laughs> it's it's one of those i wish i could tell you which one it was because I, I i literally don't have a single idea oh here it is You know what? I think actually I will plant the, the rest of the pumpkins back here where the tractor is. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I think, I think that's good. Yeah, I think this is good. So I'm going to go ahead and time travel and I will be right back. Okay, cute. All right, this is definitely really cute. I like how this looks. This this area is a little a little empty. I, I will say it is a little empty, but it's cute. It's cute. This this area is struggling. <laughs> oh, this area is struggling. Oh my goodness. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Oh no. Let me take this out. Um gonna put this here. Take this and put this here. Oh my goodness. This area is a cry for help it is. Let's push this and um, cool. Now, what if I just added something else? Like, well, I have one more wheat field, so I guess that could work if I put it here. Okay guys, and that is a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video is a little bit shorter than my other videos, but I, again, I hope you don't mind. Um, so yeah, I really like the way this turned out. If you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and leaving a comment down below. That really helps my channel grow, and I like hanging out with you guys. We have a lot of fun over here. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys are drinking lots of water and staying cool in this hot weather, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!